Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So let's go ahead and actually go and do some stuff right now and get access to this Windows 7 over here. So I have everything over here perfect and I'll just go ahead and start my so just go ahead to the terminal and type se toolkit and uh, we will go into the first that is social engineering attack that so select one and hit enter and then over here we would be creating a payload and listener payload is something it's a virus or a trojan horse uh, that goes ahead not exactly a trojan horse it goes ahead and when I go to install it on your computer they send it to mail or something like that along with attached with some kind of file and when you receive it you will uh, when you receive and you run it I will straight away get a listen I will my listener will start over here start li listening to the port that you have access on and I will be able to access each and everything from your computer until unless you restart obviously but we also have a solution for that so that every time you go and restart the payload automatically runs and tries to connect to our listener even we can do that but I will go ahead and teach you at a later point of time so let's start with our payload and listener so we will be selecting four and I will be going ahead and trying to hit enter and I need to go to insert the IP address of my computer so I'll type if config so we have this IP address I'll select this one just copy it and paste it over here so what it will be doing is that in every time it will go ahead and search for this IP address and connect it back to us and so these are the different viruses that we have over here right now we would be seeing the command shell prompt and later on these these are and different types of viruses I won't be teaching each and every one of them if you have your custom virus that you have written you can go ahead and import it uh, your own executable over here so this is the simplest virus of all command prompt and metapeter these are the two that I would be teaching you and uh, let me check yeah perfect so I'll just go ahead and since we would be le learning the first one that's command prompt I will go ahead and uh, select one what it would be doing is that as soon as it runs from your computer it will open a command prompt on my Kali Linux operating system and everything I want to do it on your computer I can do it just by command prompt so select one and I'll hit enter and as you can see we have the normal uh, that's uh, Shikata Genai and we have the backdoor executable so we will be creating a backdoor because others will get uh, still picked by the AV uh, that's antivirus but a backdoor uh, no matter what you do I will still uh, be able to go and access your uh, computer even if uh, you have formatted or anything else so I'll select 4 and I'll hit enter and I need to select a port under which I would be listening so I will be select let's say 88 eight, I'll just select 2960 I'll hit enter and the virus will be created by the time I will go ahead and uh, turn my defender off over here in Windows 8 so that I can straight away go ahead and copy it to my operating system so let me search defender perfect I'll just go ahead and um, temporarily turn it off and let's go ahead and start the listener yes go ahead and start and where is the payload saved the virus that I created it is saved in the SCT directory so by the time the MSF console starts let's go ahead and copy our payload so root is over here and we need to go ahead and show hidden files else you won't be seeing anything so show hidden files we have the period ct over here and as you can see we okay i cannot see any payloads over here okay i'll need to check once more it's in the root directory of set let me check okay uh, user and i'll go to share we have SCT. Okay, we have it over here. Payload.exe. That is the root share. So I'll just copy it, and I'll just go ahead and paste it over here. Okay, I see no reason why I'm unable to copy it. Let me check. Perfect. And I'll go ahead and cut. Now I'll paste it on my Windows 7 over here. Perfect. 
and I'll just go ahead and double click this. So I'm assuming that you have sent this to any third party and they have just double clicked to run this file. I will show you how you can go ahead and convert this into a Trojan horse later on. But as of now, just go ahead and uh, run this file. And when you come back to the Cal Linux over here, uh, you can see that uh, command shell session one has been opened. So just go ahead and type session one sessions hyphen L. It will show you all the sessions. So we have the ID one. So I'll be selecting one. So I'll type session hyphen I slash space one. And as you can see, I have the uh, command prompt over here. So if you didn't ex understand exactly what happened, I'll show you, I'll tell you in detail. As soon as this payload started over here in Windows 7, as soon as I clicked, it created a reverse a command prompt transfer to my Kali Linux. So it uh, gave a command prompt access to my computer and uh, I, I just went ahead and typed sessions-l to see all the sessions running. And so there was only one session running at this point of time, so it only gave me the one and the ID was one so I typed session hyphen I that means interaction with one so uh, session one was open so now I can go ahead and do anything that I want over here and the first thing that you would normally would want to do would be go ahead and uh, merge this into someone uh, migrate this process into something else because if the user is smart enough he will go ahead and straight away right click on his computer the task manager and he can see this process running over here payload.exe if he goes ahead and uh, closes this right click and process tree yes the connection will be turned down and as you can see over here in Cal Linux it you will get session was closed and no matter again if you go ahead and try to search you will not get any active sessions over here that is the reason